Okay, guys, this is my uh, home theater slash board gaming room. Um, I have small children, so I don't really have room in my house for a dedicated home theater setup. So I've done the best I can with the specs available. This uh, basement room in my home used to have uh, severe flooding issues but with a lot of plumbing work and uh, uh, waterproofing from me that has uh, been corrected with the equipment being a basement I've got a bit of a dehumidifier here's the Yamaha sub under the stairs here with needs a uh, better system is the Pioneer amplifier wine rack, more board game storage all the cables for the amp run up these two conduits I couldn't drill low into the wall because of the moisture issues um, the speaker cables pop out through the roof here one HDMI cable and a power cable for the projector go up to about here in the room above where the PC lives. Here is the Optoma UHD60 with the highly advanced heavy weight on the top uh, fine adjustment system. The uh, reclining electric reclining lounge and uh, cup holders. Uh, in the corner here you'll see a uh, Corsair lap board I uh, tend to play strategy games, so I need a mouse and keyboard. Uh, all the lighting is controlled with a Philips Hue. It's an ancient house built in the 60s or 70s, so there's no access to the ceiling. So I've had to get creative with running the cables as uh, invisibly as I could. And... Uh, my best find here was a Gumtree or eBay uh, purchase of a KEF T301 system second hand for about a third of what you'd pay at retail. It's absolutely amazing for its size. This room, as you can see, has no uh, really good spots for big floor standers. The screen itself is 116 inches, 16 by 9. Uh, handmade, frameless, with a blackout curtain from Spotlight Australia and painted ultra flat matte white from British Paints. Uh, it's an old type that they used to have for projector walls that has since been discontinued a long time ago. Um, the board games and the uh, Kef sub, some movies. Um, other than that, that's pretty much everything. This is one of the entrances to the house. There's a, a little bit of light leakage from the house above. Then not much I can do about that. And that's it. Uh, I hope this gives uh, someone some ideas about what you can do with your. Uh, with a small space, trying to squeeze a, uh, a big screen in there without uh, without completely giving the space away to um, just a home theatre setup.